So we left off where Prishni Garba has now, he benedicted Dhruva that he would rule over the kingdom for 36,000 years, after which he would be promoted, if you will, to the pole star, the north star, and that would become Dhruva Loka. And Prishni Garba disappeared and went back to Haridam. So Dhruva is on his way back home now. At home, Uttanapad is there, and he was told by Narad Muni to give Dhruva Maharaj space to engage in his sadhana and madhuvan. And when Dhruva Maharaj was done, he would return home safe and sound. But still, King Uttanapad was very, very anxious to see his son. Remember, his son's only five years old. So it's safe to say that <laughs> King Uttanapad has now to put it kindly, come to his senses, and he's in anxiety for the well-being of his child, and he's looking forward to seeing Dhruva. So one of the um, centuries that King Uttanapad, he sent out to warn him when Dhruva Maharaj was on the way back. So one of the messengers came running in, my dear king, my dear king, Dhruva Maharaj, he's on his way back. So naturally, King Uttanapad was overjoyed, and he gathered all of the, the ministers, the courtiers, and everyone, and they went on a, like a procession to greet Dhruva Maharaj. And they met Dhruva just outside the skirts, on the outskirts of the city. When King Uttanapad saw Dhruva, he was completely overwhelmed. First of all, he's had six months of not seeing his son. That in, in and of itself was very uh, stressful for him. So he finally saw Dhruva coming, and he got down from his chariot and he ran to embrace his son. And he recognized that Dhruva Maharaj was not the same young five-year-old boy that had left six months earlier. He could see a gravitas, a maturity uh, that he had never encountered before. Not only in his son, just never encountered before at all. And, other people. So he was very astonished of this, but at the same time he was overjoyed and he uh, was happily embracing his son. Now Suniti, Dhruva's mother, had also come. Suniti came, Suruchi came, and Dhruva's younger brother Uttam, they also came. And Suniti, Dhruva's mother, when she saw Dhruva Maharaj, she also came running. And you can see she was completely overwhelmed with seeing her son again, that he's back safe and sound. And she was holding him, crying, and did not want to let him go. And Dhruva Maharaj was just uh, soaking up the affection of his mother. Even Suruchi, who had also now, recognizing the uh, exalted nature of Dhruva, was also uh, repentant and she embraced Dhruva, hugged him dearly, and felt sorrowful for how she had treated him. And same thing with Uttam. Uttam and Dhruva had always had a good relationship. And when Dhruva saw his younger brother Uttam, they embraced very, very closely, very tightly, very affectionately. They were always very, very close bond between the two half-brothers. And King Uttanapad then put them on top of an enormous elephant and in a loud procession, they all went into the city. And the city was completely decorated from top to bottom, every avenue. The roads were clean, the buildings were repainted, everything was beautifully done, decorated, and people were lining the streets. It was kind of like, <laughs> I was about to say the Patriot Super Bowl parade, but <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the entire city was decorated for the arrival of Dhruva. Big procession, big celebration, as King Uttanapad welcomed Dhruva back home. So in this way, Dhruva returned home to the kingdom, and he lived there with his uh, father, with his parents, with Suniti. And in due course of time, King Uttanapad, who, after getting old and maturing, is realizing that now, we know in the Varnashram system, the Vanaprastha age is the age, is typically 50 years of age where a person takes vanapras, they retire from the grihastha life, they retire from their professional life, and they spend time in spiritual pursuits, because we know there is dharma, artha, kama, and moksha. 
Moksha is the final stage, or one part of life, the final stage of life, where we engage, where we spend our time focusing on preparing ourselves for the next phase of our existence, for passing on. And that typically happens at the Vanaprastha stage. So King Uttanapad reached that stage of Vanaprastha. And he, with the consultation of the ministers, with the approval, and a very important point, with the approval of the citizens, then King Uttanapad coronated Dhruva as uh, king of the kingdom. But it's very important to recognize that it's actually with the approval of his ministers and the approval of the citizens in general. And then King Uttanapad took Vanaprastha, which means he left the kingdom, left it in the hands of Dhruva. Dhruva was now a young man, capable young king. And Uttanapad went to the forest and retired and engaged in his own personal spiritual development. Hari Hari.